So this morning I'm off to uh, Peacock Meadow car boot sale. Never been before. I don't think it was on much sort of last year with the pandemic and all that stuff. Um, so this is a new one to me. So looking forward to that. Always good to go to a new one. So uh, let's crack on with it and let's see some boot sale footage. Hello and welcome to Peacock Meadow in Plimpton near Plymouth. I'm Car Boot Chris and everyone is here waiting for that starting horn. You mustn't step on that grass under any circumstances. You will be shot. And they're off. And the first runners are off and they're going to the first car boot stall they see. That woman there has just nicked the Pac-Man clock that I had my eye on. The cheeky bugger. I'm going to go on to the next... Uh, aisle and see if we can get anything down there. No, every Tom, Dick and Harry is going down the second aisle, so I'm a bit screwed on that one too. Um, oh, it's all going off here. I've got no chance. I've had it. I'm way behind the pack here. So let's take a breath and just slow down a bit and let's start looking for some bargains. Um, now that that first rush is over with. There was actually an air horn. They used an air horn to start everybody off. I mean, what do you expect? Everyone's going to literally start running. So I didn't capture the air horn, but I put a fog horn there instead. I just thought it was quite funny, really. Um, yeah, I've not seen that before, a, you know, a standing start like that. Um, it was interesting, to say the least. It's quite busy here today. I really feel sorry for that little doggy down there. He is bound to get stepped on at some point. Poor little thing. I feel like I'm missing out on a few things, so I need to actually start looking at these stalls. Um, the craziness of that start is still getting to me a bit. <laughs> Oh, it's just mental, isn't it? Right, come on, Chris. We've got to find some stuff. Right, what's on this stall here? Got to be something. Oh, I've spotted a T-Rex. And it's a bloody big one as well. Look at the size of that bad boy. That is mental. How much is it? Jurassic World, yeah. Did you have him on Facebook? No. No. I so, saw so somebody with a similar one on Facebook. Oh, yeah, no. My daughter's just literally passed at me, so if you do the boots, I'll take it. Right. I was like, all right, okay. I'll take that. All right, I'll do. Chris, come on, you can't be stupid here. That is not going in that bag. The Russian bag technique has failed at the first hurdle. Can I leave it with you for a yeah, little yeah, while? Yeah. It's going to be a pain, oh, isn't no, it? Oh, no, he is big. That's why she wants rid of him. Yeah, thank you. big dumper truck and he had to get rid of one thing to replace the right. dumper truck. Right, let me remember where you are. Black car. Black dirty car. Black. <laughs> OK. Oh, there's no fucking in there and then coming here. <laughs> oh, you. thanks very much. I'll be back. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to spend the next hour reminding myself that I've actually bought that dinosaur because knowing me, I will get in the car and go home and then remember that I've already paid for that dinosaur and not collected it. It's happened before. It'll probably happen again. How much is your jacket? Um, three, three pounds. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Buy your hoodies. Buy your hoodies. Oh, 
head off to the shore. Thank you. I'll take those two hoodies and the jacket, so. You got a pound there? I have. Great, thank you. Cheers. I've got a feeling Bargain Bell will want one of those super dry hoodies for sure. Um, right, I've spotted Builder Bears. You know what I'm like with Builder Bears. And uh, it's going to have to be a good one for me to buy them. I'm, I'm being very picky at the moment. I've got that much stock to get through. So they're going to have to be decent. Five. Five. It's a builder bear. Yeah. Do you do a tenner on the three here? Yeah? Uh, I do twelve. Yeah, yeah, I know you did that, yeah. I I'll take those three. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good. Let's see what I've got here. Hmm. How much is the jacket? Uh, the orange one? Now make sure you tune in till the end of the video because there's a bit of a cock up with this jacket and it's uh, typical of me not checking things properly. Can you spot it? Probably not, I wouldn't have thought. That's why I didn't spot it. But yeah, stay tuned, watch till the end. You do six one. on it and then that's 18 now, yeah? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Have you got two quid? Um, I can do your 20 now. I don't think so. Mum, have you got two pounds uh, As always, please tell me if you see something that I should have picked up. I am by no means an expert on anything at all, so uh, my eyes sometimes wander. My eyes look for things, you know, that I'm naturally drawn to, um, like those Furbies. How much are your Furbies? Four each. Okay, thank you. Four pound each was a little bit on the high price for the Furbies, even though one was a crystal. They're not worth as much as what they used to be. And Bargain Bow would have battered me if I'd have negotiated with a kid. So I decided to walk away. Maybe I could have got them for a bit cheaper, but I wasn't overly bothered by it. So the missus has been whinging a bit about our microwave. It's a bit dodgy. The knob doesn't turn properly. And uh, I thought, well, that looks all right. Maybe I could treat her. How much is your microwave? 25. 25. Okay. Yeah, look to the side. Open the door on it. I'll have a look in a sec. How much is your radio thing? Uh, what did I say the microwave was? 20, 25. Included, yeah. Shut it on there. Yeah. Plug, plug. Is it all working okay, your microwave? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. 100% on my phone tape. All the seconds. seconds come up. Just I want space. It's nice, <laughs> yeah, nice and clean, isn't it? Yeah, this is practically brand new. Look, your shoes are size nine. Size nine? Uh, okay. 20 quid or two with that as well. Look. 20 right. quid with that. That's a telephone. Games, cheap. Oh, you buy cheap again. This is a cheap store. Okay. That's what I like to hear. Alright, let's see what it is. Is that all the wires for it? Just a plug? That, that, That's yeah. it, yeah. So? Right, 20 quid then? Yeah, Alright, will you hang on to it for I'm me while right. I finish? Yeah, 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 great. Put it in the, uh, I'll pay you up front. Easy. Yeah, love that as well, right? That's all in. Chuck it all in. Plus 25, down to 20, done. And Great. he's also got that. Brilliant. Thank you, sir. Don't forget it. No, I won't. I've got something else to get as well around there. Two things to collect. Two things to collect. Two things to collect. That's what's going through my head right now. Trust me. I am terrible at remembering these things. How much is he? Two quid. He does work and that, does he? Go on, I'll take him for two. Cheers. You know when people say bread and butter items? I think plush toys are probably my bread and butter items. How much are your DVDs? Can't really see them, I'm really sorry. I wasn't in charge of organising them. Oh, it's alright, don't worry. <laughs> I wasn't in charge of organising them. So it's fine. Quid? Uh, it's that one. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Thank you. I just collect the tartan DVDs. Yeah. Quite collectible. Yeah. Yeah. So I collect those. Thank you. Okay, so there you go. That was Peacock Meadow in uh, Plimpton, near Plymouth. Um, wow, it was a bit of a scrum at the start, wasn't it? Mm. Um, but I sort of tried to make my way to a different aisle than everyone else, but that just didn't work because people were coming from all angles. Uh, but that's the way it goes at boot sale. You know, this happens sometimes, uh, but it was quite good, quite a decent sale. Lots of private sellers, which is good. Um, that's what I prefer most of the time. So let's just see what we picked up because you saw some of it on the video, but not everything was in the video. At some point, I do take that off. I take the strap on off. And then I can browse without having to be conscious of my phone. So a few bits to go through. What should we go first? Let's go in here. So I picked up this Anthony Horovich um, book set. I un ummed and ahed a bit about it. It's £3. Um, but surely I can't go wrong with this. It looks brand new. Uh, I'll have to check the books, but it looks like it's never been touched. So that's a bonus. Costs £3. I think probably worth somewhere £12 to £14 pound on that. Let's put it back in here. And I also picked up on the theme of books this bundle of 13 or a set. It's a complete set um, of Dead Man Wonderland. It's like anime 
anime um, manga type books. Uh, it appears to be a complete set. I'm hoping that it is. And it, they've been well looked after as well. They've been nicely put away into these cellophane um, pouches. So there's a set of 13 there. I paid £10 for it. I didn't immediately purchase them. But I went away, I had a thought about it. Um, I had a little look on eBay. And I think they could be worth, as a set, about £50. Maybe £50 listed value. So, worth spending a tenner to get 50 Definitely. Um, let's see what else we've got. Oh, you saw the microwave. Um, I did a bundle deal, a radio and a microwave together. Uh, the microwave is actually for us because ours is knackered. It's literally, the knobs on it is broken. So, um, Annabelle was moaning about it yesterday, I heard her in the kitchen, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to keep my eye out for a microwave. And lo and behold, there was a nice Panasonic one. Yes, it was used, but I've just given it a damn good clean and I've steamed it out and, it's, and it is brilliant. It was already pretty clean anyway. So as a bundle deal, the microwave and this Sony um, iPod, iPhone, radio, it's the old version of the, it's the, is it a 13 point connector thing? It's the old version, but they are still sought after. So I, I did a deal, microwave and radio for 20 quid, which I thought was pretty good. So I'm putting it down as 15 pound for the microwave, a fiver for this. Um, yeah, so microwave's a keeper, but the radio, I'm thinking, it might be worth about £15. So if I can get around £15-ish, it does work, I've tested it, um, then almost paid for the microwave, hasn't it? So that's that. Whilst we're over on this side of the floor, um, let's have a look at this. So... Um, this stall that was selling this, it was all going to charity. Um, and have a look at it. It's a gin, London gin bottle that's been upcycled, handmade. It's got this copper ring around the top, which is really nice. It's got a nice base on it. And then the plug, put your lamp, lampy thing. What do you call them? Light bulb, a light bulb moment. Um, and that goes on the top, and there you go. I've not tested it, but I've got no reason to think that it's not going to work. Um, five quid. Uh, I did try and get him to four pound, but when he, then he said it, it was a charity. It was going to children's charity or something. Um, so I just said, I'll give you a fiver, because that's how generous I am. Um, I actually didn't know, have a clue what it's worth. So I just bought it on a whim. So when I got back, get away. When I got back, I checked it out. I think it could be worth around £30, maybe up to 40 We'll see on that one. Not a bad little buy. Um, builder Bears. Woohoo! It's been a little while since I picked some Builder Bears up. So I was having withdrawal symptoms. So I thought, what the hell, let's go for all three. So I picked up these three babies. Um, these are like, I think they're classed as mooses. Is that the plural? Mooses? I don't know. But they are still tagged, which is a real brucey bonus on the Builder Bears. That will definitely add value to these. And that is the reason why I paid £4 each for these. The middle one's not tagged. But these two silver mooses... Mo I don't know if that's right. But those... Um, I think because they're tagged, I might be able to get £20, maybe slightly more on them. Um, maybe slightly more. We'll see. I'll have a proper look. I've only had a little cursory look. So these were £4 each. So I've got two of those, two of the mooses, and um, this reindeer. Uh, it's white, sparkly reindeer with the little tutu on. Again, it was £4. I bought all three together. So this one, I think, is probably about £15, potentially. Um, so also on the plushes, I picked up this big Elmo. Um, 
it's he talks he's got springy arms i've not tested him out yet but he was two pound um it's quite hard to find because there's so many elmos uh on ebay i'm gonna to have to really do some proper searching to find this exact one so it'll help because it's a hasbro so i can use hasbro it's 2012 that might narrow it down but i'm thinking he may be worth about 15 pound because he's a a talking moving elmo so i also picked up this tartan dvd i don't know if you can see it there it's a french film no idea what the film's about, but I collect these Tartan DVDs. I've got quite a lot of them. They can be worth decent money, though, if you are looking to resell DVDs, these Tartans, especially if they're unusual titles, special editions and stuff. So I'll be keeping this myself, but it was only 50p. I don't even know the resale value of it. Not too bothered because I'm not selling that. That's just going to go in my collection. So finally, I'll show you what clothing I picked up. Um, I got this really nice bright orange, um, let me zip it up so you can see it properly. It's a super dry, oh hang on a minute, tell me. I've got a feeling the zip might be broken. Oh you absolute, why would the zip not be there? Oh, that's an absolute fucker. Six quid. Ugh. Where's the zip? Damn you. That's cheeky. Didn't let me know about that. So, broken zip, I think. Unless I'm missing something here. The thing's at the bottom. There's no fucking zipper. How can it not even have the zipper? How do you even get that thing off? Right, so there you go. Fail. And after yesterday's boot sale where I didn't check things properly, I've failed again. I need to have a look at this carefully in case I'm missing something, but the whole zipper has gone. If, if this was okay, this could have been £50 of a coat. So I am a bit gutted cost me six pounds so oh that's so annoying oh absolute bar steward so it was a nice super dry coat really like neon orange um hydra something or other i'm gonna have to check that out properly but it looks like a fail could have been a 50 pound coat that's why it was probably at the booty Right, let's move on. Some more super dry stuff. Uh, this hoodie is quite nice. Cost £3. And I think probably about £12 or £14. And another another super dry hoodie here. Again, standard sort of hoodies. Hope, hopefully about £12 to £14. Cost £3 each. And then this Adidas jacket, which was quite nice. So let's make sure the zip's on it. Yes, it is. Um, it looks like maybe a cycling jacket. It's got the three back pockets. So it's possibly an Adidas cycling jacket. It's not a jersey. It's too thick for that. But this could be worth a good £30 if it is a cycling jacket. Could even be worth a little bit more than that. This is £3. And there you go. Oh, the dinosaur in the room. I nearly forgot him. Look at this baby. Look at this bad boy. He is massive. Look at that. I mean, look at the size of him. Um, I've never seen. I've never seen a Jurassic World Park um, T Rex this size. Now, I'm immediately regretting it because postage, what I was saying on the other video, the last video. Um, but I'm seriously considering just keeping it because it's so good. It costs 10 quid. You might have seen it on the video. It costs a tenner and um, it's actually worth some decent money. It could be worth around £50 on the resale value. Possibly even a little bit more than that. I have seen some go for more. But these are quite unusual. Um, 
very rarely see these out in the wild so i would recommend pick those up if you see them this is huge so that was a tenner a tenner into maybe 50 and that is everything i'm really disappointed with that super dry jacket because that could have been a cracker maybe it's still got some value maybe i can list it cheap maybe i'll get me six pound back i don't know let me know what you think but that's a lesson for me again is to check and don't make my mistakes check your stuff thoroughly the problem is when you're rushing around a boot sale and you find something that you want to buy and you're like right i've got quickly i've got to pay for this get on to the next one sometimes you miss these things uh, so uh, if nothing else stick it in the comments you know have you fallen victim to that you know being a bit too rushed yeah really disappointed with that orange coat would have been a good one that anyway that's it for this week you win some you lose some um i've done well on the rest of it hopefully so thanks again for watching and tune in again for the next video see you soon bye oh little edit here at the end sorry about that um guess what i found the zipper it was in the pocket broken so broken zipper uh i think it's beyond repair if i'm honest with you there you go check your stuff properly don't do what i did because that's six quid probably lost.